Um, the following two short poems come from Tibetan blogs, and both have been translated by High Peaks Pure Earth, a website dedicated to bringing voices from inside Tibet to English reading audiences. The first poem is entitled, This Year No Losar. The author is Chad Med Shah. It's a call to Tibetans to refrain from celebrating the Tibetan New Year, known as Losar, in 2009. The Tibetan New Year is uh, more intense than the New Year that I at least know. It's celebrated for over two weeks. It um, goes all the way back before uh, the introduction of Buddhist thought in Tibet. And uh, it, the first three days of it are particularly intense in terms of celebration. So to uh, refrain from celebrating, to renounce it, is really quite a big deal. This year, no losar. Oh, one other thing about the poem. It's a kind of dramatic monologue, as far as I could tell, and it addresses two groups, as far as I could tell. A, on the one hand, a we or an us to which the poet belongs, and then a you to which the poet does not belong. This year, no losar by Chad Medsha. Last year was washed by blood. In Lhasa, countless compatriots were fallen under a piercing arrow. This year, no losar for us. In Sichuan, countless people buried under the earth. This year, no losar for us. There is only the word no on your lips. We are speechless. You are filled with anger. We have no bitterness. For the sake of the deceased valiant heroes, let us offer our regrets. For the deceased people, let us make offerings. Therefore, this year, how can Losar be celebrated unequivocally? No, to celebrate is like a mindless beast. Furthermore, an airplane crashed against a cliff. This year, no Losar for us. A train crashed. This year, no Losar for us. Even more, its endless snowstorms covered the high lands. This year, no Losar for us. Drought in the lowlands. This year, no Losar for us. Smile covered countenance, a deceitful expression, a sign of a defeat. It is a smile of fear adorned with a smile of happiness. Actually, this is a false smile covering dishonesty. You are thoughtless of the people. You pay no heed to the world. Have you looked at the world? Have you not tread the modern path? Mind is filled with sadness and suffering. Therefore, because of our anguish, let's not partake in Losar this year. The second poem uh, is entitled, Thus We Vanish. It's from an anonymous writer on the blog, Kiki My Tibet, and it presents an image of a land clouded by darkness and a people changed by time. Thus we vanish. Since the dark cloud swallowed the moonlight, we are untouched by the warmth of the fatherland. Our compatriots are burdened with an unbearable load, patiently waiting for the ray of hope. A flock of hawks chase the cuckoos away, destroying the warmth of spring permanently. The dark army conquered every corner of the land, Hardly anyone even dares to mourn and utter a sorrowful sound. The cliff where the youthful wild yak polished its horn, the narrow valleys where brave men left symbols of heroic deeds, seeping into the rocks and soil, 
in times of rapid change. The lofty plateau is endlessly battered by violent storms. The precious jewels of ancestors are perishing. The young speak a stranger's language, declaring, we changed you into another race. <laughs>